Hey friendos, how's it going? It's the Enforcer here with another Jersey unboxing video. Now you guys haven't seen me for a little bit of time, but that's because I had to do five days straight of streaming because this past weekend was WrestleMania weekend. We started it off with NXT Stand and Deliver two nights in the middle of last week. Friday Smackdown and then WrestleMania Saturday, WrestleMania Sunday. And now it's Monday. I have no stream to do tonight, so why not do a jersey unboxing that I've been waiting to do um, since last week. I uh, had no time to do it, now I do have time. This is from uh, Cap Galaxy on eBay. Now from them, uh, previously in the videos, if you guys have uh, been following along with the old Enforcer, got my uh, New Jersey, uh, sorry, my apologies. New York Islanders Barzell jersey with the factory installed name and number and also the orange Ducks third with Henrique on it once again factory installed. This is going to be another factory installed jersey as well. Seems like that's what Cap uh, get Galaxy is uh, picking up. So once again they're out of um, Minnesota but they did give me the two day priority so it came relatively quick and this is the first time that I've had a chance to unbox uh, uh, this jersey for you guys because I, I just haven't had time just uh, been so so busy and if uh, any of the friendos have um, joined me over on the streams over there at uh, YouTube with Steven Larson I appreciate you guys support I appreciate you guys viewership and hopefully uh, we helped uh, your uh, WrestleMania viewing experience a little bit having some company along with you watching them and um, missed out on predictions unfortunately but you know there's always the next pay-per-view pay uh, Steve of course was able to win that so good on him so here we go we're gonna go on and open this up and I know that there's gonna be some people that are gonna ask um, I was lucky enough to um, pick up one um, uh, size 3x slash 60 uh, jersey from the cool hockey mystery box has not come in uh, yet um, did get my um, tracking earlier today that it was uh, picked up so it's coming from Ontario I'm here in um, uh, Ca California but not from Ontario Ca California it's from Ontario Canada coming out here to LA so it'll get here when it gets here when it gets here of course i'm going to be doing an unboxing video and um if it's something that i don't like like if it's a fanatics you guys are going to hear me go on a rant because i don't even think cool hockey sells fanatics on their website so why are they dumping that in a mystery box just fair warning if that's what i end up getting um i'm gonna be pretty perturbed all right so anyway, once again, Cap Galaxy on eBay is where I picked this one up from. And it is the uh, a gray LA Kings uh, jersey. Now this is one that I, I picked up at a, um, a Ross find for I think 15 bucks. This is a, uh, I love this one. This is a Drew Doughty. Um, um, uh, pick up there. Uh, so happy to have uh, picked that one up. So here we go. Let me take this baby out. Looks like uh, this may have been the one that they used pictures for because this was all thrown about. It wasn't in the middle here. But that's fine. They always need to take one for their photos. And honestly, now seeing this in person very very nicely done the gray really really looks good I appreciate that so all right friendos here we go LA Kings gray third jersey here um, it, I think I, I believe I spent um, either 70 or 74 and some change for this one and I'll tell you cap get Cab Galaxy on eBay. Um, I picked this one up because they said that this was the last one in this size that they picked up. And I bought it because I didn't want to have a, a FOMO, fear of missing out on this one. Because I did want this gray one. I did. 
but it was not high on a priority list. So I picked it up when they said it was the last one, and they got me with that gimmick when they say it's the last one, then magically a couple more pop up on there at the same price. So I'm on to you, Cap G Galaxy. I'm on to you. But anyway, okay. So we're gonna go into the neck, and the neck on this one is actually pretty cool. It's the uh, old school form blue or purple with the two crowns, one signifying each of the Stanley Cups that they won. Uh, not that long ago, the guy that this uh, jersey is of was on those two. And I think for the first one, he was a mainstay and probably the reason why they did win this uh, that one. They do have the tie down um, strings on there. And uh, once again, if they're willing to do that, I appreciate that instead of the loose ones, but honestly, there is no need to have that on. There is what I think is probably the LA Kings worst logo that they've ever had. If they were just to have that crown and the LA reversed, I would be a much bigger fan of this shield. But because all of the detail, all of the beauty in this crown right here, it's so small. And I think that is just so terrible. If this crown was the size of this LA and this LA was shrunk down, then you may have something. But the way it looks, uh, I don't know. Okay, so, and of course, uh, it is a Jonathan Quick factory installed uh, name and number. Not sure what I'm gonna do with this one because I'm, I'm not, I actually like Quick. Probably the only guy on the Kings that I actually do care for. Um, is this one and then of course I'm going to show you guys the numbers it is the factory install it is wicked 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 I'm sure Ricky Scurvy can make some beats with that that's just a little insight for the mods there um, so yeah one layer made to look is three and yeah you have the quick you have the sort of silver in the sleeve work here so you've got your gray you've got your black and then you sort of have like this speckled sort of silver look in there and i'm sure it's going to pick it up on the camera it's just the way when i'm looking at it now it just kind of looks wonky so and and of course on the two there seems to be a bit of a smudge right here so let's see if uh, we can get that one out. And yeah, and of course it's a quick, and on the back is just, or I'm sorry, on the bottom is just the one um, big uh, black stripe on the bottom and then a little bit of gray. Um, yeah, so there that is. We're gonna throw this baby on as, uh, as I've been known to do. And we shall see. There is the gray Los Angeles Kings jersey. I'm going to get the fight strap down. Okay, there you go. All right, looking into my mirror. Okay, looks good. Looks better. Honestly, I prefer this one than, than, than the black one. The black one just sort of washes everything out, at least with this silver or this gray. There is a little bit of color in it. So I do appreciate that. Let me give you guys a little spin there so you guys can see Mr. Quick in all of his goodness. And of course, friendos, come on, come on with me. Come on, you guys already know. You know the drill. Up close and personal time with the old enforcer. So there you go. You've got neckline right here. Very basic up around the top. It's just black on black until you get to the middle here. And then you've got your, your gray with the Adidas NHL shield right there and all of its uh, shininess. You've got the three uh, sewn down tie straps right there. And then once again, you have LA, which looks good, but I don't think that should be your main logo. That that crown should be your main logo and look how small it is look at the detail let me get up close with that the detail 
on that one is beautiful and yet it's so small and then that LA is so big. I don't get why they do that. Hopefully one day they'll, they'll learn. But once again, they won their cups in this style jersey, so who knows if they're probably prone to sticking with this. Um, right there is the shoulder yoke. Then you go, you see your 32, your factory installed. Then you got your black stripe, your sort of speckled um, silver and uh, some sparkles in there into a black and then into the gray into the sleeve. And then there you go. There is very basic, but honestly, probably other than other than there's only one jersey that I felt that I missed out on. Uh, for the uh, uh, reverse retros, and that is the LA Kings. The further longer away from purchasing that jersey when I could have, the more that I feel like I've missed out. All the other ones, other than maybe New Jersey with that beautiful green Devils jersey, the Kings are, are the one that I really feel like I, I, I kind of missed out on. Hopefully, they'll make that as a specialty jersey maybe in the upcoming years give me another opportunity to pick that one up or who knows maybe if i go uh, when uh, things get opening up maybe i can get over to the uh, team store at staples center maybe by sheer luck they'll have a uh, an, an adidas reverse retro probably for 300 dollars sitting on the shelf uh, markups i tell you at the team store man it's insane uh friendos I appreciate you guys joining me here. Uh, like I said, probably the next video that I'm going to have uh, with you guys is probably going to be the uh, mystery box that I pick up from Cool Hockey. Like I said, I got confirmation that they shipped it out. We'll see what we get. You guys will see it along with me as you saw from the videos before. You know, I show you guys first so that you guys can sort of gauge what you guys think um, I'm going to uh, have as a reaction. So always nice to show you guys before you get a genuine reaction from the old enforcer. So friendos, once again, I appreciate you guys joining me here. I know it's been a while, but I was a bit busy with the WrestleMania obligations now that that's out of the way. And now that we're streaming on Thursday nights with Impact, the beginning of my week is a little bit lighter. Of course, uh, uh, Saturday, uh, join Steve along with uh, um, uh, the Queen of the Ring. Uh, we're gonna be checking out uh, Unsolved Mysteries. First time uh, we're gonna have a guest host other than in the 24 hour stream with Larson. Um, so hopefully you'll join us over there, twitch.tv forward slash Steven Larson on uh, Saturday night, 9 p.m. Pacific, midnight Eastern. Uh, hopefully you can join us and as well as on Thursday for Impact at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Um, Eastern. You can check us out. We will, uh, um, uh, what is that, uh, uh, share, play, I guess, uh, a watch along. We actually will have the, the wrestling there. We just banter. We just ca catch up. It's a good time. So, friendos, once again, thank you so much. I will talk to you guys later. Have you guys a wonderful day. Bye.